Welcome back everyone to another tutorial and in this one we talk about and discuss how you can add logo to your Gmail signature on the iPad. So if you use a Gmail app like this, you can go ahead and open up the settings and notice that there is the a signature settings button. And when you get in here, there is essentially just one toggle which can be enabled and disabled for the mobile signature. So the way that it works is that when you enable it from your iPad, this custom signature will be added. But the problem is, as you might have noticed, is that there is no option to add images, only text. So here are your options and ways you can take this. So you can either disable this mobile signature and now it will automatically adopt the one from your computer on which you can set up images and add logos and there as well. So perhaps if you have access to it, you can use computer and set it up there, then disable this mobile one and you're going to be using that one even from the iPad. But another option is to use a different mail client. For example, I have downloaded this Spark Mail where you can sign in with your Gmail account, no problem. And there through the settings, you're gonna notice that these signatures can be added there and customized within HTML. So that means that if you know how to do it, you can just paste the image right there and you're gonna be able to just put like different kinds of stuff as your signature. Naturally, as I say, this is just an example. There are different mail clients which you might want to use. For example, another one is the uh, Outlook, right? Which can, uh, I'm pretty sure that this one can only be used for the Microsoft account. But uh, just to show you here, the signature can be customized with images. So you can tap on it and import like um, image, file, logos, whatever. So. I want you to explore these options. They are good ones to try out are also the Blue Mail on the App Store as well as Air Mail. So make sure to try out individual apps to see which one works the best for you in terms of the signature. So yeah, that's gonna be about it for me. I really do hope that I have explained it a little bit at least. If you have more thoughts and things you wanna share, go ahead and leave them below. But for now, that's it. See you guys later in the next tutorial.